Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss uh, some important concepts related to finance. In short, what we call as finance current affairs. And these concepts as well as questions based on this, which I'm going to discuss simultaneously, are going to hold a lot of importance for the upcoming RBI and SEBI examinations. Uh, before we start, let's have a look at all the courses that you can avail, that you can use in case you're planning to start your preparations or if you're planning to complete your preparations right now, immediately before the examination. All of you must be aware about the crash course, which covers entire phase one plus entire phase two. And it also covers revision, which is presently going on. So you've already done your uh, phase one and phase two prep and you're willing to revise with me, you can enroll in the crash course. The second that I've launched recently specifically for revision, which a lot of students were demanding and asking for is uh, are these two courses on which we have 50% discount going on right now. You can use this code SPECIAL50 for any of these courses. Now, what are the differences between these two courses? Uh, the 8001, which is going to cost you only rupees 4000 and GST is going to be inclusive. So I'm going to be paying the GST on this. Uh, includes phase one complete plus the ebook which itself costs around 800 now and uh, it also includes past year papers uh, so these three things are included in this it also includes uh, mock tests for phase one entire phase one uh, that means 10 mock tests for entire phase one it will have general awareness it will have static gk uh, okay it will have uh, quant reasoning and english all the videos all the content and the ebook as well. And the second is uh, for 3,900 after discount, it's going to cost you 1,950 inclusive of GST. It's going to include phase one mock tests, number one, all 10 mocks plus phase one general awareness and static GK plus the ebook of uh, 2,000 plus questions and past year papers. So these are the four things that are going to be included in this uh, course, which is specifically meant for students who've already prepared for phase one but feel that they need more revision or more com coverage for general awareness and static GK and, and who also wanted to take some mocks. So instead of just providing mocks, I also thought let's provide general awareness and static GK simultaneously so that you can improve your performance in mocks immediately after you take a test because all the solutions and the explanations, everything is already available in the static GK and general awareness. Okay. And the ebook, which has been launched recently, it's also included in this. Now that's a heavy ebook, which contains uh, more than 850 pages, uh, a lot of practice questions of the level of RBA grade B. Okay. With this, let us start with the session. And we're going to be talking about some important concepts and fundamentals related to finance current affairs. So today we are going to be talking about sample registration survey SRS which has given its uh, uh, statistics for the year or for the time period 2013 to 2017 very recently. Now this survey SRS is conducted uh, by Registrar General of India RGI. So this is something which you need to remember and some facts related to SRS survey for the uh, time period pertaining to 2013 to 17. It gives out the life expectancies and health conditions of women and men and try to compare them. So overall life expectancy has increased from 68.7 in the previous SRS to 69 years. Women's life expectancy has also increased to 70.4 and men's life expectancy has also increased to 67.8. So do remember the latest facts. You don't need to remember these facts. These are only for comparison here so that you can make some comparison on your own as well. However, these three facts are very important. Please do remember them. Do not forget them. Okay. Now, having understood or having known uh, the life expectancy of men and women, let's understand and talk about life expectancy of women and men in separately for rural and urban areas. For urban areas, for women, it is 73.7. For rural, it is 69. For urban male, it is 71.2. For rural or in rural area, it is 66.4. So do remember these facts as well. So how many facts do we have? We have 69, 70.4 and 67.8. 69, 70.4 and 67.8. So 67.8 is the average here. 70.4 is the average here. And overall average is 69. Okay, so you can cut these out. 
second right is 70.4 now this 74.4 is calculated through 73.7 and 69 and this 67.8 is calculated through 71.2 and 66.4 the reasons have also been given but i don't believe they hold a lot of importance and that's why there's no point in discussing them they're very obvious in nature improvement in sanitation and uh, because of better housing better education the mortality rates have gone down and because of increase in sanitation the life expectancy has also gone up now if we talk about different states then the highest and worst life expectancy delhi born males and kerala born females have the highest life expectancy do remember this fact and chatisgarh born males and uttar pradesh born females have the lowest or worst life expectancy please remember this fact as well it's very important uh, because uh, normally these kinds of analysis are not made or if it or, or if made they are not published but this time they have been published therefore they hold a lot of importance so do not forget them please do try and remember them as well so you can highlight these things uh, note them down in your notes Uh, so that you don't forget them at your later stage okay all the very best take care